心。Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So today is our Make It Monday where we do our index card Scrabble Piece Challenge. So don't forget to hashtag the index card Scrabble Piece Challenge with ID. I'm sorry, I keep saying ID. It's I-C-S-P. Okay, so four letters, hashtag I-C-S-P. Okay, all right guys. So right now I'm just going to start with my two index cards so here I have a medium and a large index card and again this one measures about five by eight and this is a standard one that you can pick up just about anywhere and it measures uh, four by six okay so here's our box of index cards that I picked up at the thrift store filled with index cards so I gotta do something with them um, let's just recap really quickly while I have you guys uh, let's start with a these are the ones that we've already completed so here I have Apicotheri all right on the small index card um, here we did apples with some um, um, just random <laughs> random stuff <laughs> And this was A, okay, this was for the letter A. It was our first one, wasn't really sure what I was up to, but I tried something, so give me two points for trying. And again, this has no point system whatsoever. We are up to E, and E has one point on it. But again, this project has, this process, so projects has no point value whatsoever. Then we went to B, and I was off crafting across America, so I got really creative with a bunch of things that I had going on in my RV. So here we have just like a little index card with a tab, bicycle, buttons, etc. There's a bumblebee in the background there, and a beehive um, little die cut that I placed on there. Uh, here's another bee with some butterflies and birds and birdcage and buttons and you know the list goes on and on so that was B and then for C we did a couple of tags at the top um, a little paper um, I keep saying paper clip but these are clothespins okay and um, I have these little tiny die cuts which I am going to be using a couple more today so this is another little tiny die cut not die cut it's a laser cut wood piece so here's a camera car and C has a value of three so I did one big C um, <laughs> for, I did one big index card for the letter C okay so that's that all right so D I did two um, index cards a large one and a much smaller or a medium sized one and for D I I don't even know what I did oh I did the doily um, background yes doily dragonflies um, and I put a little dragonfly a daisy a dozen I stamped dozen on there and I put D uh, the word desserts and I just used the in the uh, Scrabble pieces uh, which has a value of two points okay and again no points in any of this I just like saying it I just like saying how many points each piece is worth and you know take it for what you want it doesn't matter um, if you are participating in this when you get to Z I think Q has the most value I think it's about 10 points but when you get down to Z and we tally up everything we'll see you know how much the entire scrabble uh game is the value of that is worth okay so again no points but it's fun to talk about it anyway let's move on we're going to do our letter e today i'm always going to start with um inking because not always but for the most part it does help bring the paper to life prior to putting anything on it and but then other times it's best to just get your stuff down on the paper and then decide which color ink you want to use so sometimes it's best to ink first other times it's uh, best to collage first so the choice is totally yours right now I'm just looking for my dauber and I'm using ground espresso which has become one of my favorite um, distress oxides in the craft room and I'm going to start off with 
inking around this large card and I'll try to get it done quickly but I'm also going to use my um, glue that little silicone glue mat that I have because um, yeah that will make all the difference on how much we can get done quickly I'm going to use these little Eptones. I'm calling them Epitones. I know they're they're musical notes, but um, I've, t I've played the flute for probably all through elementary, middle, high school, and I um, even auditioned for Juilliard's uh, um, School of Performing Arts in New York City. So I've always called these little Epitones. So yes, I played the flute of all instruments. <laughs> the most wimpiest instrument possible. I uh, just didn't feel like carrying around a trumpet. I, I saw like little three, three third graders dragging their trumpets around. I was like, nah, I'm good. I don't, don't want to, I don't want to play that. Um, I played the drums for a while as well. And uh, my parents probably got tired of me banging on the table because you get to bring home your sticks. You do not get to bring home the drums. <laughs> So yeah, I played um, I played the drums for a while, and um, my mom was finally like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna buy you a flute, and um, yeah, you can play that all day." So that's what I that was my musical instrument in school. I also played like whenever a student was out for the day, like if someone was missing from the brass section, I would go play trumpet for, um, you know, an empty seat, or I would go play um, saxophone. Um, the clarinet section was always there. Like I always wanted to play clarinet, but no one, um, no one would take the day off. And it was only about four of them, so I guess everybody um, in that section loved music as much as I did. So anyway, I played the flute for many, 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 many years. Uh, you know, it was just something that it was a, a big thing, especially in New York City. We had a huge uh, budget for arts and music. And um, so, yeah, I was very fortunate to play, play in the band most of my um, elementary school and, and, you know, middle and high school uh, career or however you say that. It's not a career. You're not getting paid to go to school. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I played an instrument. I still have my flute, actually. My, I hope my mom's listening because she would be happy to know that her money was well spent and it didn't go to waste. I still have my flute, Mom. I just don't play it as much <laughs> anymore. But anyway, hey, I'm just going to use my tearing ruler and just tear away a section of this music paper and use this as my base for for um, the uh, collage. And I'm gonna tear it so that it's a little cattywampus, little little off centered. And uh, yeah, so this will go on here like so. And then whatever is overhang on the excess, I will cut it away. So I'm doing something super basic today. Like, I know it's Monday and you guys are probably expecting like bells and whistles, but I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> I'm tired. Guys, I told you guys, I think I mentioned in the previous video, maybe I haven't, maybe I did. But I am um, just sort of like exploring other options to cr uh, make Chronicles of a Crafter a brand. Okay, so I have a few things in the works that I'm working on. And as soon as I'm able to talk about it, I will definitely give you guys the heads up. But um, again, I want to thank uh, all of my new subscribers and all of you were sent over. Um, from Pam at the Paper Outpost. So big shout to Pam. I know she doesn't do shout outs, but I love um, showing support to other people and their channels. And um, yeah, so 
thank you Pam from the Paper Outpost for for sending all your all of, well not all of your subscribers because she has like a hundred thousand people watching her but sending over those who are interested in uh, Chronicles of a Crafter over to my channel so you guys uh, have have uh, a lot of weight on your shoulders because we are growing so as the channel grows I will continue to have um, giveaways so it's up to you guys to share these videos share the channel with your friends and family and um, you know push it over the edge so we can get to 1,000 subscribers and I can have another another giveaway so the weights on your shoulders <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys are are enjoying these videos for the most part. I mean, it may not always be everyone's style. I mean, paper crafting is a unique unique niche, okay, of folks who are interested in paper crafting, but uh yeah, hopefully we can grow the channel some more and get to the point where we are um Give it, doing another giveaway okay so here we have this I'm gonna ink around the edges again because apparently I did more cover-up than I thought I was going to so um, yeah I'm just gonna ink around the edges where this music paper is showing and it is fall right guys so I want to do something a little kooky uh, let's see. First off, I'm going to add my little epitones to the paper as well as my letter E. And I'm using Fabrifix for that because I truly believe in Fabrifix. Like, I put a lot of weight on Fabrifix, like glue wood, glue metal, glue everything, <laughs> glue paper to paper, paper to uh, fabric, and fabric to fabric, and paper to paper. Did I say that one? Yeah. So yeah, I put a lot of um, a lot of faith in Fabrifix, in the hopes that it will glue everything that I'm using here. So let's break up some of this brown, right? So I have a lot of brown going on. E even the music paper is like it's like a a, a butter color with uh, brown notes on it. Okay, it may look black, but they're brown. So I'm going to break away from the brown, and I'm going to go in with some greens. Oh, let's see what color green do I want to use oh I have purple so I picked up this is my latest color dusty Concord it's a purple um, so here's what I can do I'm gonna test it on any any side of this right so let's just grab a let's grab a dauber and here's my purple uh, you know attachment to the dauber and I'm just going to test it so I will place it on here just to see what purple will give me okay so that looks pretty good I think so right don't you I can do one of those right there and that kinda like you know gives it some contrast so here's what we're looking at so far I can place that pretty much anywhere on here but because um, you know I have more collaging to do I will just keep on going let's see I do want to use or at least try a green so I'll save that purple go in with some shabby shutters and here's my green dauber for my lighter greens and this is also a distress oxide Oh, it's it's faint it's pretty faint and I don't think there's enough contrast between that and that buttery paper so purple might be the one might be the way to go okay so just to show you guys like we tried it on one side it didn't go well we'll flip it over because notes can go in either direction right I mean they're not all facing one way they they have uh, various uh, ink, uh, directions that it can go in so because that purple one looked really well I'm gonna try 
uh, H Mahogany on the other. And I think I did H Mahogany on a... Well, that dog would just hit the floor. So this is what this is what I'm working out of. So yeah, these are all of my daubers. I just picked one up and it flew right onto the floor. Anyway, so here I'm gonna try aged mahogany on the back side of this, um, the one that I did with green. Okay. And yeah, I think aged mahogany gives it more contrast. It's in the reddish brown family, but it's not brown so let's see if it'll cover up that green yeah it does because the green was so light it really did not take well but yeah that that concord and the aged mahogany will be the ones that we use so there okay now I can move no I can't move it yet I need to clean it off so I don't get this everywhere All right, so here we have this guy, our large card. I am going to grab uh, a little sticker. This is the letter E, okay? I'm gonna place that up here in this corner. And it says egg, all right, so there's that. I'm also going to grab, ouch, I'm going to grab, uh, let's see, what else do we have here? I'm just going to grab some book page. I'm going to tear it. And um, tear it again. And cover up some of this um, music paper that's really taken over the entire project here. So let's see. I'm going to use oh, this little tiny, I hope this is small enough. Let me just grab this edge here with this little tiny tweezer. And I am going to glue this book page down right here in this corner not before inking it so I'm just using whatever is left on the dauber of the ground espresso distress oxide and I'm gonna um, ink around the edges here I'm gonna place it right here in this corner and place that sticker back on top of it so yeah, that breaks up some of that music paper just a little bit. I do need to continue doing that because it's a lot of the music paper. So again, I'll just tear around a piece of this paper. And I will ink it. And it's fall, so I also want to add just a little something um, for the fall. Yep. So I'm going to place this piece of book page right up here along this E. There's some excess glue right in there. So, yeah. And then again, guys, I always do whatever's overhanging. We just cut it away at the end and we, we ink everything. So here I have a couple of leaves. Um, this is just some silk leaves that I picked up. It's, you know, um, in a package of, I don't know, probably 50 or so. And uh, yeah, so this is my fall contribution to this project. And the leaf has like a little uh, plastic vein that runs along the back side of it. So I'm just going to use that to glue this down. And it'll go right about there. And in addition to that, 
I want it to go like right around the E. I know that, you know, leaf, hello, it, it has no, it makes no sense whatsoever um, for this letter E. But uh, let's see, what can we say that this leaf represents <laughs> in this project? Um, e for, I have no idea. I can't even think of anything right now. So if you think of a letter, I mean, if you think of something that we can say that this leaf represents, uh, E for what? What, guys? What, what? <laughs> um, yeah, what does this leaf represent? Whatever we want, really. I'm just going to glue these guys directly on top of the leaf. And then we'll do our smaller index card. So I've got two of these. So I'm going to place one right there, and I'm going to place the other one right there. Okay, so here we go. Our first index card with the letter E on it. And if you can come up with something for this leaf, like, I mean, okay, I get it, it's a leaf, right? So L. It would probably work better in the letter L, but um, I don't know. I just wanted to put a leaf there, and it's my project, so I did. All right, so we'll just put this aside to dry for now. Instead of racking our brains trying to figure out what we can do with that. Um, so here, I'm just going to, this time, I'm going to do a lot less music paper on this one and a lot more book page so uh, I'm going to cut away even though I've torn it already I'm just going to cut away all the white excess leaving my torn edge still there and we'll ink it So again, I'm going in with the Ground Espresso, and I will use some book page. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all are having a crafty day, because it's Monday. It's the start of the week, right? So we really need to, like, put our best foot forward. <laughs> what else would you guys like to see me do on this channel? On this, uh, channel? Because we are doing one index card scrabble piece challenge Tuesday sometimes we're gonna do a twist uh, try it Tuesday or twisted Tuesday that's the uh, playlist that you will find it my Tuesday videos are in a twisted Tuesday video um, playlist but it can pretty much be anything you want like a try it Tuesday and you can do um, any one of those projects that are in there um, and then uh, we have a what's up Wednesday occasionally so I did not do one last week and I'm, I'm okay with that I'm okay with um, you know uh, giving you guys a what's up whenever there's something to what's up right I don't want to just bombard you with crazy chaos and and um, and uh, nothing of value so yeah and then we have Thursday so I started this whole Thursday and I'm using fabric fix glue because again it does glue paper to paper fabric to fabric and fabric to paper but I'm just using this because it's here so Thursdays we are doing um, uh, thrift thrifting Thursdays and I like thrifting so I figured some of you guys may like it as well and um, when I've ran out of thrift stores, <laughs> then we'll go back to doing something else. Or I will rearrange the, the days that things come out on the channel and just go from there. All right. So here we have um, some book page and some music paper. And for this letter E, I have this guy. Uh, it's a... Uh, a wood tone um, letter E and I'm going to again use Fabrifix glue 
I kind of like this this bottle it like it gets the glue like to come out a little bit faster than um, the Sugar Bell piping icing bottle. I don't know if it's because there's a bigger uh, hole in the in the top or what, but the glue uh, doesn't have enough time to settle all the way at the bottom and then has to work its way all the way back up. So I think, um, and the, the hole again is probably much larger than the Sugar Bells, but you won't get as a, a precise stream of glue as you would with the Sugar Bells. But this one's always ready to go for me anyway, so thought I'd share that with you guys. I'm going to use this eye chart. All right. Um, can you see that? <laughs> Which is very funny. It's an eye chart. So can you, can you see that? <laughs> All right. So yeah, I'm just going to ink it with a little bit of uh, ground espresso. And then I'm going to glue this with um, some glue stick. I don't think it's a... Uh, I don't think it's a sticker. I think it's just a paper, a paper ephemera. So I'm just gonna pop that right up here in this corner. Overlapping my uh, both music paper and the, um, and the book page. And I think I'm going to dot these glasses with this blue. Yeah, so that's my Salty Ocean dauber. And I'm not even going to find a, uh, a handle for this dauber. <laughs> I'm just going to daub it on really quickly with uh, just the dauber by itself. Just the uh, sponge, I should say. So, yeah, I think that's cute, actually, these little blue glasses. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to place that back. My fingers are now super inky, inky, inky. And, um, yeah, I'm going to give this a second to just dry the, the ink. And then I'm going to place it right on to my, uh, to my index card. Yeah, guys, I mean, have a crafty day. Like, don't don't let uh, it being a Monday keep you from doing something crafty. So, yep, so I'm using an eye chart and some eye glasses. Now, you could have just said these are just glasses, but I'm calling these eye glasses <laughs> just to uh, make sure I fulfill my... Um, my letter E. Actually, I don't want those there. I want them here next to this scrabble piece. Yep, that's where I want it. And I'm going to place this lowercase, whoops, this giant lowercase letter E right up here next to the eye chart. And it's just a sticker. And E is the fifth letter of the alphabet. So right over here, I'm going to place the number five. Okay. So there we have that. And of course you can always put a tab on it. So let's see if I have a tab. What do I have here? Oh, I have a tag. Ooh, I can put the, another, like, a straight up number right there. Oh, uh, where's my dauber? This is aged mahogany again. So yeah, I like, I like numbers, um, number tags. Um, it's just like whatever like what does that number mean who cares it's just so cool so there's that I'm going to find me a little tag and I think is this a sticker nope I'm gonna grab this tag right here and place it right down here or there Right there, 
and then but I'm just going to pop this little sentiment right down right there it says creating access so there's that and um, let's see here we have November so this is just the embellishment part of this whole thing I'm gonna put the, the word November on one of them even though we are not in November I do know that we're only in <laughs> October but I'm going to place the word November just anywhere on one of these and again just inking around the edges so here let me get some glue stick on here okay and place the word November right down here hey hang on one second just one second and then I'm going to add the word autumn right on the other one so yeah guys don't forget to hashtag if you do try this and tag me in it um, Chronicles of a Crafter hashtag I C S P index card scrabble piece challenge and um, yeah so there we have it let me cut away my excess paper around here and here while I added this little stamp right there I need to put something on it or in it so let's see what do I have I have a little tiny number whoops so I use VersaFine ink, which I just stuck my thumb in, so there's that. <laughs> and um, I'm going to use my little stamping block here. And VersaFine. And we're going to place this right in here, in the middle. Gosh, I hope that's right side up. I didn't even check. And it's not. It's upside down. So that's great. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter, right? Because that's what collage is. It is right side up, actually. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. All right, guys. Here we go. These are my two index cards for the letter E. I hope you guys give this a try. And um, tag me. All right, I will leave you guys right here on this end of the video. Hope you guys have a super crafty day and stay naturally curious. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Share this video with your friends and family and check out my links down below if you find them of value. Shop on my Amazon store. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in the next one. Have a crafty day. Bye.